greetings and welcome back to Mavan Rainier's studio here in Leitrim's Iron Mountains. If you're new here, my name is Harriet and today I will be sharing another short drawing time lapse in my sketchbook. This piece is titled Familiar and I am drawing a little black witchy cat. In the United Kingdom and Ireland, there is a superstition that if a black cat walks towards someone or crosses your path, it will bring you good fortune. But if it walks away, it takes the good luck with it. And if a black cat walks onto a ship and then walks off again, it is doomed to sink on its next voyage. In the English Midlands, a black cat is considered the ideal wedding gift and is believed to bring good luck and happiness to the bride. In Japan, it's believed that if a lady owns a black cat, she will have many suitors. The folklore surrounding black cats varies across cultures. In Scottish folklore, it is said that if a strange black cat arrives to the home, it signifies prosperity. In Celtic mythology, a fairy known as the Cat Sai takes the form of a black cat, sometimes with a single white patch on its chest. On Halloween or the Celtic New Year of Samhain, it was believed that the Cat Sai would bless any house that left a saucer of milk out for it to drink and those houses that did not leave out a saucer of milk would be cursed into having all of their cows' milk dry up. Legend has it that this spectral cat haunts the Scottish Highlands, and the cat's sigh also occurs in English and Irish stories. In English version of the folktale, The King of the Cats, as the story is told, the King of the Cats passes away, and an old man watches nine cats, curious with white spots on their chests, carrying a coffin with a crown on it, while shouting, The King of the Cats is dead! And one cat turns to the man and says, Tell Tom Tildrum that Tim Toldrum is dead. The baffled man returns home to tell his family about what he had just seen, when suddenly his own cat jumps out and shouts, Then that makes me King of the Cats! And he flies up the chimney and never is seen again. In Irish folklore, the King of the Cats was a terrifying creature, and a variant of this folktale tells of a man living in a small cottage in Cork. His neighbours are wise and wish to keep the fairy folk happy, including the cat Sai, so they leave out, once a week, a saucer of milk for him to drink. But the old man refuses to take part in such nonsense. His neighbours tell him that the cat Sai will keep their crops safe and ensure that no unwanted spirits interfere with the land. Nonsense, he proclaims, and continues to refuse to leave out milk for the cat Sai. Instead, one night, he decided to put poison in a cup of milk for the cat Sai. In a bid to stop all of this, there is a knock on the door, and sure enough, a black cat with a white breast is dying on the step. Then he heads down to the local pub to find out who owns this cat. While he's there, he gets himself a pint, which turns into a few more. He even tells everyone in the pub what happened, when suddenly, a cat that lives in the pub stands up and declares, Well that makes me king of the cats! And he turns feral, viciously attacking the man, who runs from the village, and is never ever seen of again. These are the tales that helped establish the superstitions surrounding black cats. Some tales say that the cat Sai would try and steal the souls of those who have recently died by walking on their graves, and this actually led to cats being chased away from graveyards just in case there was any truth to these tales. Common folklore suggests that the cat Sai was not a fairy, but a witch, who could transform into a cat nine times. And if one of these witches chose to go back into their cat form on the ninth time, they would remain a cat for the rest of their lives. It is believed by some that this is how the idea of a cat having nine lives originated. My cat drawing is somewhat inspired by this. I wanted to make this witchy cat a little bit strange, so I gave him three eyes. Three-eyed cats are a common symbol in dreams, and it is said to be symbolic of awakening into a higher self or divine spiritual connection, as cats are creatures associated with mystery and magic. So for this drawing, working again in my Tone Tan sketchbook by Strathmore, I began this drawing by figuring out the sketch with a black colouring pencil, and then building up and defining the sketch in small area blocks, continually reshaping the shape of the details, the lines and the tonal values with my eraser. 
I'm using predominantly the Derwent black and white tonal colouring pencil set for the bulk of this drawing and I'm blending in brighter colours with the Faber-Castell Polychromos colouring pencil. I will also link all of my tools and materials below the video. I really like how this piece came out. It really has a feeling of the Catland illustrations of the Victorian era and these are, if you're not familiar with them, there was a, a lot of this kind of iconography came about with animals wearing very nice clothes and they almost had kind of human proportions, they were like boating or they had parasols, they were just dressed up in their Victorian costume, animals that had been anthropomorphized. So we're coming to the end of my time lapse now and if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Do have a wonderful and inspiring week and I hope to see you all again soon for another video. Bye bye!